Hey, for our next guest is a talented instructor of Semba, Kisumba, Urban Kiss and Endombolo. He is one of the top artists and the biggest part of the popularity of Urban Kiss in London. He's also an international artist teaching all around the world um, and you might find him in a congress near you. Hi, El Sabrina, welcome to Dan Spotlight. How are you? Uh, hello, hello, hello. I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Uh, you've been around the scene for quite some time and um, not many people know much about you. So let's start from the beginning. Um, where, where are you from? Well, I'm from Congo, Congo Brazzaville. That's where I was born. I'm born in Brazzaville, in Central Africa. I also heard that um, you you lived in Paris. I have lived in Paris. I still have uh, my dad's lived there. I've got cousins, my uncles, and I almost I go to Paris every other month, if not every month. Um, so how did you start dancing um, kizomba and samba? How how did that come about? Well. First, I met Kizomba in 2000 uh, for a trip in Angola. Um, I loved the street dancer, it was crazy, it was amazing. So I stood there, watched those guys, because in Congo we do the same, but we dance in Dombolo on the street, you know, barefoot. And I saw those guys in Angola just, just in the street and dancing. I stood there for a while and it really caught me and it's really catching. So I saw that there and then just completely forgot about it and uh, two years after I came to UK I saw they was doing some Kizomba class somewhere and I just I went and uh, that's where I started. It's, it's quite a job from um, a solo dance to a partner dance isn't it? It is yes yes but, but that's, that, that was also that was uh, attracted me especially Semba those street dancers that were dancing non solo they were dancing partners and it was full work they were doing and because you know, I, 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 I felt there was something there that, you know, that attracted me, you know, and uh, something that I said, I think I can fit in that. And, uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't do nothing about it because I was in Angola just for two weeks, I think. And then I left. I went back to Congo and I went to France. And when I came back to, when I came back to the UK in London, and then I, I saw some Kizomba class going somewhere, I know, I'll check it out. And since then, I was hooked. <laughs> so, um, uh, through the journey, who's, who's been your kind of inspiration and um, inspired you to, to that? Any specific person in your life during that time? Dancing Kizomba or just um, in general? Uh, Kizomba, Semba, Urban Kiss. Ki Kizomba, Semba, um, I mean, it was, it was, I think it was just, uh, as we say in French, coup de tête. Um, as I said, I saw that. Those, those little boys really inspired me the way they were dancing. So in my head, Semba. So when I came to London, I saw Kizomba, I went to some classes and I, and, I, and I started learning. So those guys that I first saw in Angola, they really, really caught me. So my, even now when I think I can still picture them, I can see them still dancing on the street, those little boys. I mean like, from what I've seen, you're, you're kind of a natural dancer and it translates into your partner dance as well, which is, uh, which is kind, of, kind of nice for, uh, for, for everybody. To yeah, thank you. Um, so, that transi transition from being a dancer, like a social dancer, just a, just a dancer into a teacher, how, how did that start? How, how, how did you get the opportunity to take your first class? Well, you know, I always say it doesn't matter, you can be as talented as you you, 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 you can be, but you need a platform to showcase your talent. So I was lucky and I was just a social dancer and people appreciate that I was dancing and a couple of people just asked me to come and teach at the event. I was like, oh, I'm not sure I can do that because you know, I dance, I don't teach. And, and um, where, where was that? In, in, here in London. Oh, in London. Okay. Yeah, in London, yeah. It's when I started dancing in London and people appreciate it. So we would like you to come and teach. And uh, first of all, it was Angel. Angel with whom I work his lounge now and we started from day one um, so she believed in me and she gave me that chance and someone else gave me the chance um, so and then I taught at the event someone else saw me they invited me and that's that's how I went oh cool very good I mean so I, I was given the opportunity I did a bit of research on you and the first kind of video that I saw was uh, you were dancing Semba in Corfu back yes, in Yes, that, that, that's exactly was one of the, my first festival was Corfu, yeah. Yeah. Um, and now, years has gone by, how, how did you discover this, this phenomenon called Urban Kids? 
Ah, oh, they discover urban games yes. now. Well, I'm a dancer. I love to dance. So living in Paris, um, but I already moved back. I was already here. So I went back to Paris. It was a Kizomba party. So I went to Kizomba party, and people were dancing urban kids. You, and you got lost into the urban kids room, and then you saw, whoa, this is a different. Dance. No, it was just one room. It was one room. It was a white party, kind of just like I am now. I went to, to the party of I'm gonna go dance. So I went to a party, everybody was dancing. First it was Simba. And I knew I could dance Simba, but the level in Paris was another level. And in the change they played urban keys and those guys that were dancing Simba, they just translated to urban keys as, and I couldn't dance urban keys. So I stood there, I remember I stood for about two hours. I stood there watching them dance. I didn't even go because they were too good. I, I know the feeling, I can, I can relate to that. So. so when I came back to London, that's when I think we we hooked up with Angel, also who had the idea, and you know, we, we, you know, when she said, okay, I have this idea, I was like, I was on board. And um, that's really good. I mean, um, nowadays, Urban Kids in London has exploded. I mean, partly because of you as well, coming to London and teaching Urban Kids. Um, besides from that, what, what do you think, why is Urban Kids more so popular? It's, I think it's even more popular than Kizomba nowadays. Urban Kids, it has become, to be fair, more popular than Kizomba. That's why we have this little war. That I don't want to get into, but I believe it's maybe it's you know everything is it's like technology. When everything you know, back in the day we used to listen to CDs and then we went. Now it's USB and now it's just online now. So things changes. Obviously there's evolution and, and things changes, but it doesn't mean that Kizomba uh, will change. Kizomba is always there, has you know as we know it, and people have just done something else. I mean this 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 um, evolution, if you mean or this. Uh, as, as even in, in salsa and bachata, you know, now you have the LA, so Cuban, and so we always have different. So it's just like urban kids has come from Kizomba now, although it's changed drastically, but base is Kizomba. And the reason why I think it's not popular because unlike Kizomba, urban kids attract more young people. No, I, I can see that. Maybe it's the music as well. Do you think the and the music, obviously. The, the young people, they like the monotone music, which is a little bit of R&B, a little bit of hip-hop type of music in there. They attract people. You know, even people that just dance to Zomba, they really enjoy it. What do you think is the most important thing to focus on when you're social dancing? Oh, important thing to focus on when you're a social dancer. Um, well, when you're a social dancer... For example, for a guy, is it... Is it Always thinking of the next move, trying to do the coolest move, or is it? Oh wow! Well, okay, okay. I or is it just what? focusing on the musicality or being? Smooth? It really, it really depends. Uh, I'm gonna talk for myself. When I was a social dancer, obviously, as a teacher, I see things differently. But when you are a social dancer, especially when you have a character like mine, obviously, you have to improve all the time. So when you dance, obviously, you you, you want to do better than you did on your last dance. Okay, and that's how I guess that's how we. Uh, I, you know, you, 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 you progress. And for the girls, any tip for the girls? Oh yes, the girls, obviously, I know some of the girls, um, and I hope if they hear me, they'll agree with that, some of the girls that don't like taking the classes. They think, oh, I'm just going to follow, I'll be good. Yes, you could do that. It will take you a long time. Okay. If you do the classes, it makes it easy to follow. Because at the end of the day, we've got massive memory. The more you dance, you will get used to what you're doing. It's, this is a really good, important point. I mean, everybody should be able to, to hear it and uh, and also learn from this uh, tip. Um, so, going back to that, um, when you start to learn to dance, do you think it's good to stick to one teacher or to have many different teachers or learn many different dance at the same time? I don't think. Well, that's my, my personal opinion. I think when you start dancing, stick to one teacher. Because you're starting, you want to have the base. Okay? Have the base one teacher. As long as that teacher knows what they're doing, stick with them. And then once you've mastered the bases, you can go around, shop around. But at least you know what you're looking for. Because when you don't know, when you just shop around without knowing exactly what you're looking for, that's why people get lost. They don't have the technique, they don't have the style, they just dance, they don't have their own personality because They've been shopping around, they didn't stick to one, you know, to one teacher. Because when you stick to one teacher, you learn the basis, you know what it's all about, then you can go and learn all the styles differently, but at least you know at least what you're looking for. That's, that's what I think. I think you should stick to one teacher for a little bit, for a little while. Don't just do one class there, one class there. One. It might work for some, it might work, but I don't think 
you know, a year, one or six months, yeah, you know, before and then go around and shop. I, I totally agree. It's good to have a really strong base in your dance and then uh, build it up from there. And it's also to get comfortable with your teacher and uh, and also learn, yeah. learn in a certain way. Because there's many people that teach in different ways and uh, it's good to stick to one and, and, and progress that way. Because the reason why, if you teach, if you learn from one teacher and then you don't stick with it for too long, you go somewhere else, you get confused. You go somewhere, you go, oh, why did, why, why did you say that? And now I'm saying something. But if you stay there for long, you go to the basic. When you go to another teacher, he says something differently. You'll understand why he says that, because of just the styling or the way of dancing. But if you show one class there, one class there, you're going to get so confused. OK, no, that's a very good point. Um, OK, so one final question from our viewers. Um, any tip for the advanced dancers that's been dancing for so many years? Feel stuck doing the same move. Um, any tips for them in terms of how to progress to that next level, to the next stage? As myself, I think I think I, I'm, that's, I'm, 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 I'm in that box. It's um, I mean we say uh, when I was young we say practice is the mother of the of, 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 of the exam. So you have to practice, practice, so you can pass the exam. So for the advanced test, because they already know what you do. It's already good to go back to basics. It's already good to learn the basics. But sometimes we do advanced. I remember when I started teaching advanced, I found it boring to teach the beginners. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Because every move we do as advanced, there are those basics move that we just do the variation of them, the basic move. So as an advanced dancer, all I would say is just keep learning. I guess it's, uh, it's good to remind you as well that that's where you started. and. Um, of course, it's, it's we've all been beginners at some point. To have a better standing of your students as well as they progress in their career. Okay, so I um, mean, this is uh, should be closing our interview, but before we do that, let's talk about you. We want to find out where can we find you? Where, where do you teach regularly? Well, okay. <coughs> I teach on Tuesday at Keys Lounge as a bar salsa. Over there, I teach Kizomba or, or uh, Urban Keys. It depends on rotation. There's few teachers where we rotate. On Wednesday, I'm in Guildford. Uh, it's St. Francis Church in Guildford with Gio. And then on Thursday, I'm here at Riley's Bar in Piccadilly. Kiss Bash. It's right there. As you can see, this is my baby. It's my bra baby. So uh, it's my new baby. It's four. It's probably just uh, a month old. So we're still building as you've you seen yourself. So uh, we're focusing on that. With these lovely people here on the program, so uh, yeah, we're building uh, um, every Thursday we're here, and obviously on the weekends, I um, do travel a lot. I've got a few festivals in the pipeline. Uh, like next tomorrow, I'm going to to Germany, and then I think I'll be going to uh, Riga and Ibiza. There's a lot, but it's all on my on my page, uh, elsopino.com, or if you go to Elsopino Artist on my Facebook page, you have all this information. Okay, well, so I'm going next. Other other projects than your uh, your baby right here. Um, any plans to do a performance team group? I'll, um, I'm working on that. I'll be doing some Dombolo uh, challenge. Uh, so people need to uh, stay tuned. They'll see some Dombolo challenge, and I'm also planning to do some course. Um, some people mentioned to do some course online, but I'm working on that. But I want to get my um, uh, weekly courses going and then we're going to be doing the challenge with Afron Dombolo because you know I also do Afron Dombolo and then we will be going to uh, uh, do the uh, what was your question again Sorry. Uh, the, the performance group yeah we're going to be doing the performance group we're gonna be mainly with my guys but obviously we, as I said we just knew but it will be coming and also I might get some people who, whoever is interested we're going to work on the group practice and uh, but then people need to stay tuned on elsopino.com or on the uh, elsopino artist page. Uh, they have all the information they need. Okay, you heard it here, guys. So um, get in touch if you want to uh, to do the performance groups. Um, coming into the world of the online. Sorry. Coming to the world of the online. Um, the, are you any plans to do some uh, website for dance classes uh, online? Well, I will be. I have, a, I have a plan. Right now, I have my website already. I don't know if you've checked my website, elsopino.com. Um, so what you say, yes, I will be, I will be uh, definitely uh, 
Uh, we are waiting for it. We discussed it with my partner, but that's something that we'll be uh, building. As I said, people stay tuned. Keep following us, so you know, There's a lot in the pipeline that I have uh, in store. Okay, and finally, um, just to close things off, um, if people want to book you for Congress, uh, to get in contact with you, your social media, where, where and uh, what's the best way to contact you? On my website, there's a, there's a place where they can contact me, I receive through on my phone, and I, on my email, uh, info at elsopuno.com, they can get me, or elsopuno at gmail.com, you can also go at me. Perfect. Thank you. And on the website, there's my number there. And on the Kiss Bash um, page, there's also my number there. So I'm really reachable. I'm um, really, really reachable. So I guess you got your Facebook, you got your Instagram. Oh, yeah. I also have the Instagram, Elsa Prino Web and Elsa Prino Artist. I've got and, two uh, pages on Instagram. Thank Twitter you. Twitter and Snapchat. I, I also have a Twitter and I also have a Snapchat. All the Elsa Prino. Okay. <laughs> Well, he's easy to find. So uh, I'm so reachable. Everybody get in touch. Um, he's, a, he's a wonderful artist, and I can tell, attest to this guy. This guy's my teacher. It's so good that I uh, stop coming to classes because I have enough stuff to, to work with. Um, thank you very much, Elsa Prino, for the. Thank time. you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification.